All right, my friends, uh, welcome back to another video. Yet another one, would you believe. Uh, it's number 81 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2022. His name's Justin Simmons. This is a name and a face that I you know, simply cannot forget. Um, he was all over last year's series in 2021. Maybe it was 2020. I honestly can't remember. But what I can remember is... Um, you know, he's a good-looking guy. He's a he's a good-looking cat, and um, I guess you uh, you know that means something in the world. But in the world of NFL, when you got a helmet over your head every single play, it doesn't really mean much. But when he takes his helmet off, he's a fucking good-looking guy. So that is really all that that sticks with me. I feel like he came in at number 49 or 50, or maybe it was 41. If I'm right, give me credit. If I'm wrong, well. It is what it is. Let's get into it, guys. Justin Simmons, safety for the Broncos, number 81 on the list. Justin Simmons is um, just a technician, man. He doesn't miss tackles. You know, he can defend the run, defend the pass. Justin Simmons with good coverage. He's electric. Hey, man, energy from start to finish. Justin Simmons is playing at a, a very, very high level. He always finds ways to get his hands on the ball. Justin Simmons is a... Tell you what, even just seeing that play, just the way that he moved, the way that he sort of saw options, you know, reacted in a split second to what, it, what he saw and then eventually got the pick. I mean, that is a, a really, really clinical play and I like it. Ball hawk. For the second straight season. He was following the ball. That's exactly what he was. A complete ball hawk. And he saw it in his feet movement. Season, he snagged five interceptions. No safety in the NFL had more. Justin Simmons. How rude. Big interception. How rude. Look at that. He was about to score a touchdown. But you ruined his day. Come on, man. Come and he's on, off. Man. Don't tell me you took that to the house. The interception versus the Lions. Throws the out cut and it's picked off right on the sideline. That he is lost Justin his tell. Simmons with the pick of well, the Someone lost their tell. And you'll see, like, literally, as soon as the quarterback goes to throw the ball, he's breaking, he undercuts, makes one hell of a catch, reaches out, you know, just a hard catch for a defensive back. Justin Bro. Simmons with a spectacular pick. The reason why we play defensive back, because the majority of us just can't catch the ball, but, you know, his ball skills are phenomenal. What did you just say? Did you did you just out yourself? The only play, the only reason you play defensive back and not wide receiver is because you can't catch the ball. Hey, let's go, let's can. go, let's get the momentum back. Come on. New game plan. Go. Any defense, uh, you you know who the ball hawks are, and so obviously going to Denver, he was uh, he he was that guy there. He just always seems to be around the ball. Throws a ball that is going to be intercepted. Justin Simmons. This will be a foot race. Cuts inside a tackle attempt by Wilson and pulled. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Look, don't even call it a tackle. Just call it a QB making a business decision. Right. Inside the Jets, 35. He was a robber on this play. Do you know what? Zach could have really upped his stocks there by just trying to drill the cunt, but he didn't. He's sitting a yard two right behind the sticks. And he's just waiting for a breakdown. He knows he has the corner deep, and he has the other safety helping him if any double move, but they put him in the perfect position. And he did. Once he saw the breakdown, Oh, that's he too broke, easy. That is too easy. There was no way that we is, were going to let him That is too score. easy. And that's a return of 30 you yards. Know, he made a play that, that he'll make 10 out of 10 times. Um, he's just that kind of guy. Hey, answer the bell. Come on. Let's answer the bell. He's a guy that he'll go catch an interception on you and then next play come hit you running back in the mouth and act like it's just another day in the office for him. What a play by Simmons taking him down. He always in a position to make a play, get his hands on the ball. He can defend the run. He's definitely one of the best in the business. Let's go, B. Come on, baby. Denver definitely has a you know, a playmaker a guy in him, and it's just someone that will do what he needs to do to make a play for that team. A guy who's hitting his stride and really coming into himself and, you know, playing at an all-pro level each and every year. Are we going to hear him speak? That seems wrong. That seems really wrong. Um, 
you know, he was all over the place last year. Maybe maybe they just couldn't sit him down for a, for an interview. But uh, look, that's that's good to see. We won't look at any stats. We will move on uh, because we do have a running back on our hands here, James Connor, for the uh, Cardinals. James Connor for the Cardinals. Now James Connor, from what I remember, he played for. Surely it wasn't the Cardinals. Anyway, it might just be. Uh, that is what happens when you put your head in the ground for six months during the off season. Uh, but I've brought it back up and just in the nick of time. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.